the examples of equations in this lesson will require the distributive property to simplify it. Before we use the properties of equality that will undo the operations. So according to the distributive property, if we are given a number A and a quantity inside the parentheses, let's say B plus C, this is equal to A times B is equal to AB. And then A times C is equal to AC. So here we multiply every term inside the parentheses by the number outside the parentheses. So that's how we do the distributive property. So let us consider the following examples. We have five times x minus three is equal to negative 30. So first, we use distributive property on the left side. So we have 5 times x is 5x. Then 5 times negative 3 is negative 15. We do not change the right side. So in this step, we use distributive property. So now we can already undo the operations. So we eliminate negative 15 by using division. So the, sorry, I mean addition because the indicated operation is subtraction. So we are using addition. Again, Whatever we do in one side, the same should be done in the other side. So we add 15 in each side. So this will now give 5x We are combining negative 30 and 15. They have opposite signs, so we use the sign of the larger, which is 30, so the sign should be negative. Then we subtract 30 minus 15 is 15. The indicated operation between 5 and x is multiplication. So we undo multiplication by division. 
So we divide both sides of the equation by 5. And that will eliminate our 5 because 5 divided by 5 is 1. We are dividing two numbers with different signs, so the answer should be negative. 15 divided by 5 is equal to 3. Therefore, x is equal to negative 3. Another example. We have negative 3 times x, quantity x minus 2 is equal to negative 9. So by distributive property, negative 3 times x is negative 3x. Then, negative 3 times negative 2 is positive 6. We do not change our negative 9. So here, we use distributive property. Next, we eliminate positive 6 by subtraction because the operation is addition. The inverse of addition is subtraction. Again, whatever we do in one side, the same should be done in the other side. So that will cancel our positive and negative 6. And we bring down negative 3x. We are combining integers with the same sign. So we write the common sign and add the numbers 9 and 6, which gives us 15. So here, we eliminate negative 3 by division. Because the indicated operation between negative 3 and x is multiplication. Again, whatever we do in one side, the same should be done in the other side. So this will now cancel our negative 3 because negative 3 divided by negative 3 is equal to x. We are dividing two numbers with the same sign, so the answer should be positive. But we do not need to write the positive sign. So 15 divided by 3 is equal to 5. Therefore, x should be equal to 5. 